Lamb in the town centre, you can see the shepherd with his sheep. This is one of the landmarks of the town and you can also see that there's tables behind me because they've got a pub, or a couple of pubs rather, and a coffee bar and a snack bar that all serve these tables. Things have changed. Not so long ago this square would have been empty and now these new businesses and a couple of the old businesses have started serving people in the street. I wonder what it's going to be like during the winter though. You can see that there's not many people at the tables now. During the summer when it was warm there was loads of people at these tables and uh, they must have done rather well out of it but as the colder weather comes in I wonder how much custom they're going to have, how many tables will be set out. I don't know. And once again you can see the square. It's locally called Red Square because of the colour of the paving stones, but this actually Festival Square. So they must have had a festival here at one point. I don't know what festival that might have been. And uh, as I say, it's livened the place up. It's been a good summer from that point of view, especially when lockdown came to an end and people came out and met outside. But perhaps that encouraged it to have people outside meeting and these little businesses have catered toward that. And behind me is one of the businesses that started Queen Street, Square One. It seemed to be the chief place here. It's got most of the customers, most of the tables. And it's been a great boon to the square and to the town. Now let's take a good look at Square One. This is such a business that's taken off that I await to see what it's like in the months to come. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey, I'm into that. I've been singing that all morning. I must be full of the joys of Jesus, as we should be. He died for us, for our sins, and he's risen from the grave and is available to all of us who will receive him. I trust that you will receive him. Well, behind me is the Tudor building that I mentioned in an earlier video. I thought I'd have a, a better look at it, a good shot. I think it's attractive. It's very much part of the centre of the town in Oswestry. And this is Oswestry. And uh, you can see there's a, a shop in there. And I think it's one of these buildings, it's a landmark in the town, everybody knows it, because it's so distinctive. It really is very attractive. And here is the same Tudor building from a different point of view. Okay, a good close look at it, and here's the bunting that will probably be coming down very, very soon.